I am here at the moment, Andover. I'm going to go uh, down this road through Stockbridge, through uh, Romsey, and some, somewhere on the outskirts of Southampton. Hey guys, just getting my rip pack. Just um, left Andover, making my way through to Stockbridge, and then Romsey. So stop, it's a hot day today. So I'm just going to take my jacket off. Whew. Try and make cycling, cycling a little bit more pleasurable. I was going to do this yesterday, but I just rained all day. That won't be fun at all, so today it's really nice though. Sorry, <laughs> let me get my breath back. I'm just about halfway now. In a village called Stockbridge. Looks like a nice little village. It's even got a roundabout, but not much cover on it. So we're gonna carry on to um, Southampton. I'm about um, 20 minutes. Take the first exit onto Fish Lake Meadows. Thank you, Google. I'm about uh, 20 minutes away from one of the roundabouts I was thinking about camping on tonight. There was another one, but it looks slightly closer into, uh, closer into Southampton. Well, I'll go and check out the first one. It looks a lot greener, a lot more bushy. It's a bit, you know, out in the sticks a little bit. And it's closer, close to where I am now. And this cycling's been right. World of water. This cycling's been horrible. <laughs> I was thinking about going to Oxford. That was like a four, four hour cycle, apparently. This was a two hour. This has been, probably been two hours already and still a good like 40 minutes away from the center of Southampton. So I'm glad I didn't choose Ox Oxford. But it's 20 minutes, then we'll go check it around about. I think this is my roundabout. Now it's just getting in there. I think I'll go and check out the other roundabout. Looks pretty thorny in there. Just another 20 minutes, apparently, to the next one. This is the other one. But it's closer to town. But it's uh, also close to housing estates. Which I'm not too sure about. cover it now either. Why I'm this way. I need to get some food though, so to the shops. Gonna go back to that first roundabout. It's further out of uh, Southampton, but I think I'll feel much more comfortable there. I got some lunch from the shop, but no dinner yet. Oh, just carry my panniers around the shop, I just, just felt like you know, people are just. <laughs> you know, when you're knackered, you just feel like people are getting away with it on purpose. It's like, oof! <laughs> it's like, oh. So, I'm gonna go back to that roundabout, have some lunch chill for a bit and then we'll sort out dinner later. Let's just 
go for it. Rambles galore. Let's put the bike down. It's not looking good. Maybe come out of it. Maybe come out of this roundabout and go further over that way. Because in here it's just shit and exposed. This might not be the one, as I say. Far too many brambles. There's another roundabout I thought about um, next to Southampton Airport, but it's just, you know, getting there again. I am pretty knackered. Yeah, it's better, yeah. Sit down. <coughs> oh, God. I've got my camo tent, so it might be all right. The patch over there. There's an exit entrance to around about there. On over that way, should be fine for that one. Dolphin cars, you obviously slow down to exit over there. But if I get the tent and put it over here, it'll save me having to go to another roundabout. But there's not much cover here, I can't really stand up, and I really need a wee. Excuse me. This isn't the most like secure I felt in a roundabout. And there wasn't my most stealthiest getting in, but we're in. Off. I'll wait to put the tent up a bit later. Just that involves a lot of like standing up and stuff, so I've got fawns in my trousers. So this might not be a great night for the airbed, but we'll see. I'll try and clear it a bit. What is that freaking at me? I don't know. There's loads of little ones like this. You can see them. All these, these little fawns will come off the branches. Some uh, Belgian buns. A triple chicken sandwich, chicken sweet corn, chicken stuffing, chicken and bacon. I don't know what I'm going to do for dinner yet. I'll just walk around that shop with those two loaded panniers because I don't want to leave them on the bike. And I just like people just kept getting in the way. <laughs> I know it's, they're just trying to do the shopping too, but that's what it feels like. So move! <laughs> so, nah, right. So I don't know what I'm going to do tonight. There's a, there's a Domino's next to the Tesco, so it may be Domino's, I'm afraid. You know, people say they like my channel because it's real, that's real. When you can't be off to cook, you get a takeaway. So I might go Domino's. Um, sandwich for now and relax and see how my legs feel after. Gonna try and put up the tent now, <laughs> just been staying low. But I'm here a bit cold, so. So it's like half four, time's getting on a bit now anyway, so. But, this ain't a great location. Cars do slow down quite a bit to go around this roundabout. As I say that, nothing's gonna come past, but. 
like the vans come past. You do feel like, yeah, they could easily see me, see me just being weird on a roundabout. But yeah, let's get the tent up. I feel quite exposed, but I'm doing that thing where you you can see their faces, but I just turn away. So if I can't see them, they can't see me. I think that's how it works. Tent's up now, I feel a little more comfortable. I don't know if they can still be seen or not, but I do feel a little better. Time to grab my tent. I'm not going to go and get some food just yet. I might wait till like slightly after dark, maybe like 7 o'clock. It's just far too busy at the moment, it's like 20 past, 20 past 5. It's like rush hour and cars are pretty consistently going past. See over there, but yeah, it's busy. So I'm gonna wait, wait a bit. Try, try and cook something in the dark, or I'll just grab a pizza. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Southampton tomorrow. We're probably gonna get the train back because uh, I'm not cycling back. <laughs> Google said it was like two hours, but that's probably at least like I think I left at like 11, maybe half 11. Got here at three o'clock. Yeah, I'm unfit, but I'm gonna continue on the bike. Not tomorrow, but try and get my fitness up. Cycle to work a few times. Uh, we do more camps on the bike. some food now. There's my tent, actually. I will lock my tent for it actually. I'll lock it, shut it so less sparks go in. Now let's get some food. Pizza required. Got my pizza now. Back at camp. Just got a little little cheesy garlic bread. Can't really see it but a little pepperoni passion. So I'm going to take my boots off, get comfy and tuck in. My legs still feel like shit, so hopefully eat my pizza, watch some Netflix or something and recover overnight and get the train back tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe I'll do some cooking in the morning. A nice breakfast or something. Morning guys, girls. Uh, not the best sleep. I did wake up a few times, but it's alright. And that stayed up, that's a plus. So I'm gonna get up now, slowly, make myself a cup of coffee, and uh, we'll get out of here. Yeah. Let's go and see just how visible my tent was from closer to the road. It's morning now, I'm basically packed up. So let's just sit with the tent. Have a good look, put the tent down and get out of here. Yeah. Pretty visible if it catches your eye. So let's get around here.
interested. Well, it's a good day for a good view. Ferry leaving over there. Cruise ship over there, but that's not doing much. Just settling for a latte and uh, a bacon slice of breakfast. Just, just want to get back now. So I'm going to get, get the, finish this, get on the train, and I'll see you next time, guys. Hopefully for some more cooking next time. Well, okay. Next some cooking. Sorry I haven't been cooking as much as in this episode. But until next time. Bye guys.